Twins are on a high after a great weekend, and they're facing the Seattle Mariners in just over an hour. Yeah, but we are still talking about that sweep of the White Sox yesterday, that thriller of a walk-off win. Sports Director Jim Rich is live at Target Field with a very special guest. Jimmy? Yeah, we get to hang out in the dugout today. This is pretty special. Usually I'm not allowed in here. He's allowed in here all the time. That's Ryan Jeffers, Twins catcher. But you can see out on the field, the tarp is on. It's raining, but it looks like it's going to clear up for the game tonight. But Ryan, first, let's just talk a little bit overall about what's happened to this Twins team. You now have the best record of any team through the first 10 coming out of the All-Star break. You guys didn't go into the break feeling very good. Why have things turned around in your mind? Yeah, I think we're, we're kind of finally finding all facets of the game. Um, we've always been pitching the ball well the whole year. Um, the offense seemingly has finally caught up. Um, we've played some really good games. We've played kind of we've played all nine you know yesterday was a tough one for eight innings and then we've kind of pulled down the ninth um, but just being able to play complete baseball and do the little things right has really helped us win a lot of these games all right let's talk about that yesterday as you said nothing through eight then all of a sudden a big rally in the ninth inning you guys come all the way to back to tie it then you go to extras you come up in a situation where you teammate had just grounded into a double place and all of a sudden there's two outs and all the pressure's on you what's going through your mind yeah you know I was watching kind of how he was attacking the hitters right before that um, saw him throwing some fastballs he threw me two breaking balls to start off the AB so I, I felt pretty confident he was gonna throw another fastball and uh, I told myself to get on top of it and hit, hit something hard and uh, you know when you hit stuff hard good things usually happen and it found a hole <laughs> Now, come on, that's your first ever walk-off hit. I mean, you celebrated pretty hard yesterday. Yeah, I think we all did. I think after a, after a long game like that, after 12 innings, um, to get the sweep, to continue to play good baseball, um, it, it's really good. I think we were really excited. We get the momentum coming into this series against the, the Mariners and, and keep it rolling. All right, but it seemed like some of you guys found a new way to annoy the winner. They were pouring bottles down your back. Where did that come from? I'm not sure. I saw Pablo had a cut, quite a couple, uh, quite a few Gatorade bottles that were dumped down my back. I smelled like a very a weird combo of orange and blue and <laughs> red Gatorade. Um, but it's all, in, it's all in good spirits. It's fun. All right, I heard you talking in the clubhouse before the game how catching is your number one job, but now you want to become a hitter that can be counted on, that your bat doesn't need to be taken out of the lineup when you're not catching. How important is that, and how have you changed your approach to become that guy? Yeah, you know, number one, my job is always to be there for my pitchers and there for my pitching staff. Um, but, you know, to continue to grow as a player, I've always believed I can be one of the top catchers in the game, a, a complete catcher. Um, and, you know, just continue to hit, um, continue to find ways on base, hit for power. Um, is gonna. I, I want to make it hard for them to take, take the bat out of the lineup. All right. Last thing for you before we go back. You look at you hit the hardest home run in Twins history in the Statcast era. Did that one feel any different for you? That one felt great. Um, <laughs> that was a lot of that was another emotional game over at Houston. Another extra innings game. Um, anytime you come up with a big knock, it's always full of emotions. Hitting the ball hard is 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 awesome. Um, but then getting the walkers probably a little bit better. All right. This is Ryan Jeffers, his team 8-2, three games up over Cleveland. They got Seattle here tonight. Rain's already stopping, so uh, if he's counted on, he'll be in the lineup again tonight. That's the story from here. Target Field will have much more coming up at 6 o'clock. But right now, you know, you're used to this, right? This hot humidity, this is not a big deal, right? No, you know, down, back in North Carolina, back home, this, this is what we got all the time. Mm -hmm. See, no problem. So don't expect the Twins to suffer because of the heat this week. All right. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. Good to hear from him. Yeah, Great game. Yeah. Oh, well. so fun to watch. He was obviously so proud of that. All right.